Welcome to the second tutorial on the VICE WordPress theme. In this tutorial we will show you how to customize it and how to set up your menu. The first thing that we need to do before starting the customization is to disable the Quantum Themes Ajax Loader. So, if you go in Customize you will notice that the preloader will keep on spinning without stopping. In order to proceed with the customization, first visit the plugin section and deactivate Quantum Teams preloader. After this, we can go on Appearance Customize. Now we are able to customize the social links, the logos, the footer, sidebars, enable or disable the Ajax page load, music player and all the other features of the theme. First of all, you will probably want to upload your own logo. So under the branding section, we can choose two logos. The first one is the main logo that appear on the top bar. Here you can upload your small logo, like this one is 64 by 50. The important is that the height is 50 pixels. And it is going to appear straight away here. Remember after each customization, if you want to quit the customization process, to click Save and Publish. Then, on the sidebar, we have a possibility to put another logo. So we can click, choose image, upload file, and upload another logo. This, for example, is 600 by 220. It is going to be resized automatically, and so on the retina display, it is going to have a very good resolution. Then we click Save and Publish. In our sidebar is now appearing our logo and the copyright. Second step, this is the footer text appearing here. We can customize it by writing what you need here. Then if you want to add some social links here, in the social links section you find all the best music social and you can add your URL here. Here in the preview, the social as are saved with the options in the database for performance reason are not going to appear immediately. To see the social icons, you will need to close the preview and visit your website. Back to the customization process. We can choose if we want the sidebar to be visible or not. And we can choose a title for the sidebar. To allow you to display as many widgets as you want, the widget have 
a function that allows you to close them. You can enable or disable the sidebar by clicking here. If you prefer your layout to be 100% width, you can hide it. Otherwise, you can show it. In this space, we can decide a text to put in the header of the widget section. Here it is. And we click Save and Publish. Then we can decide if we want the pages to load with Ajax effect, which is needed to keep the player playing across the pages, or to disable it. If you have problems with your favorite plugins or third-party plugins, you can disable the Ajax page load. Otherwise, in order to have all the player function running correctly and for a better smooth customer experience, you can keep the Ajax page load enabled and your pages will load with a nice effect, like this. Otherwise, if you disable this, the pages will load normally. At this moment, when you install, you probably don't have released already in your website. So the player is hidden. You can also choose your player to be invisible. If your player is invisible, it is going to work anyway and people will be able to play the single tracks. But the playlist is going to be unavailable. Otherwise, it is visible by default and you can always hide it and show it with the small arrow. You can also decide if you want the autoplay when the website opens for the first time or not. If you are using a YouTube background video on your one page, the track is not going to perform the autoplay. Then it comes the typography section. You can choose to enable or disable your Google font and you can choose a Google font for the titles and one for the text. The default choices are Marvel and Droid Sans. The Marvel font can be replaced with whatever other font you like. And this is the font for the text. The site title is not going to display here because we have a logo. The tagline is not displayed in this theme. Then you can choose to have a color scheme that can be dark or light. The dark color scheme is better if you want to have a dark background. If you prefer a light background, you can switch to light. The main color is the color defining buttons and all the other color areas. And the background color is of course the color of the background of the page. You can also have a background image that can be full screen or repeated. If you want to have a full screen image, just choose a picture
like this one, with a nice blur effect, which doesn't disturb the content. Then you can choose which widgets you want in the different sidebars. This theme features five special widgets. These widgets are easy to distinguish because have the QT at the beginning of the title. You can display custom artists, events, a Facebook fan box, podcasts, posts, and your recent releases. And if you click Save and Publish, the widget is going to appear here. In the last section, you can choose if you prefer to have your latest posts or a static page as front page. To create a one-page website, you will need to create the one page at the beginning and then you must choose your new one page that you created in the static front page section. Once your customizations are done, you can proceed with the menu. To create and display a menu under Appearance, you can click Menus. Let's create our main menu. This menu is actually containing two sample pages. After this, we need to manage the locations and assign our main menu to the primary menu location. After saving the changes, the menu is going to appear in the off-page sidebar. A menu can have two levels. Third levels are not going to be shown. Thank you for watching.